<laughs> and we start to put up on our whiteboard in the studio the school play, a cast of stars from all of our roles and the people that called in. So we've got Jack. Well, you've probably got the most prominent speaking part of anybody that we've had on today. You were George the Dragon Slayer in uh, some King George remake. I was boy at canteen, a non-speaking role in an Perfect. original play. Um, Pats was a dancing zombie in the chorus line of... It was like the pub yesterday when she left. <laughs> 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 of course. Sorry. Uh, we had Paul playing the donkey. Um, Keita was a cardboard tree. Vanessa was a shrub. Alex was an air conditioning unit. And <laughs> Olivia had to play two roles in the same scene farmer and the cow. Powerful. That's range. As a 13 year old boy in the 80s, I was quite odd <laughs> at my school. I had very strange musical tastes. I was into Elvis Presley. Yeah. This is the 80s. No one was into the king anymore, but I was, right? 13. I was into the king. And so I sang for the audition for Bugsy Malone, Blue Suede Shoes. I, thing is, I can't sing right. The musical teacher's back was, you know, uh, to me. So he's on his piano. I could see he was shaking with laughter. <laughs> it was so bad. Anyway, the next day, you had to go outside the uh, the teacher's room to work out all the castles there. I got the role of, of Knuckles, who's a mute. He doesn't even, not only does he not sing, he doesn't even speak. I wasn't even allowed to speak, so I, I quit. I actually quit the production. It was too much. Too sad for me. The Christian O'Connell Breakfast Show, Gold 104.3.